When I last left you, we were trying to create a claim on Meridina. Why, you ask? Well, there's many reasons, but also I need 25. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. My mistake. I should have probably realized that earlier. Oh, the treasurer has died. Why do always the admin advisors die first? Bloody nuisance. Anyway, um... Yes, I need you to move to here, please. Probably need 40k. They're kind of big. Just kind of. Just maybe a little bit large. Also, merchant guilds are really pissed off at this point. Uh, I could worry about it, but I really don't. Ooh! Yes, please. More colonies? Don't mind if I do. Just gonna move both of you down here, use the automatic troop transport. Not that big a deal. Since this last time I checked, they were 25 strong, so... Yeah, it's definitely gonna work out well. 100%. I mean, what, what, what else would be happening? If I dissolve them, will I get the manpower back? I don't know. I forget. Forgetfulness is probably not a good idea. And we'll gain taxes. Taxes for life, man. Taxes for absolute life. Hello, you. Marina, thank you. Pull you back. Yes. Go to here, and we'll send you some money. To, like, you know, make you... Actually, I could just do Influence Nation. Take on foreign debt. They have no debt. That's like me. I don't have debt either. We're like buddies. Oh wait, you're like part of me. <laughs> My mistake. I forget these things sometimes. Alright, come on now. Let's influence the nation. Cost me 300 ducats, aka like what? What is 300 ducats? What is 300 ducats indeed? Uh, an ex vessel on the 11th of September. Yeah, please, thank you, all the rest of it, good stuff. Cheerio. As to Mr. Yu, could I, uh, interest you in an alliance? Cheers. Yes, we are going to be above, but also, does it really matter? Also, why do we have... What the hell is Baluchistan? Oh, right. Why do we have military access for you? Why would I want that? I don't understand. What the hell? Give me my military, like, give me my thing back. Cheers. Also, sure, let's do that. Yemen suddenly loves me beyond belief. Always good to see. We'll do everything with them. Also, we could just vassalize them right away, so we could just do that as well. Um, do the influence nation and then eat. Nom nom nom. Influence nation, cheerio, and by the time my guy comes back, we should probably be able to click off of vassalization. I've converted the people in Pozo, those damn posers in Pozo. Jeez, man. Couldn't you think of something better to say? Yes, I probably could have, but also I didn't really want to. I could have, but I didn't want to. Cheerio. Hello, Yemen. Welcome to vassalage under me. It's quite fun. Some say. Some say it's not, but who are you going to believe? The people you just became a vassal of? Or people that don't even matter. That's right, me. Anyway, um, yeah, so Yemen is now a vassal. Great. I'm gonna place a relative on the throne because, of course. I mean, hey, I don't get to press that button very often. Aw, oh, Mahone won't actually join and help. Poor thing. So yeah, I'm going to remove these guys from the map, pull you guys in. At the moment it's mostly just growing the country. Because who doesn't like growing a nation? You're level 16, you're one be well, two behind, so... Not enough for this nonsense that I just decided to engage in. Crap. No, just run away. Yeah, just run away, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and Paolo, of course, of course. The reasonable stuff. Hmm. K. 
Can I get out in time? No. Can't actually get out. I'm about to lose 20k. God damn it. Yeah, they actually stack wiped him. Well done to you, actually. Jeez, Madagascar. You surprised me. Good thing I can just build another one. It'll take about 100 days. Do you think we'll manage to survive for 100 days? I like to think we can. I like to think we can indeed. I'm just going to the Mozambique channel. No big deal there. What's your thing like? We could probably destroy you with our double transport fleet, to be honest, which is kind of sad, I have to say. I mean, come on, look. Our... Oh, hello. Yeah, I should probably be worried about that a bit, don't I? Come on, boys. Come on now. Well, we have the engagement. We don't really care what they do in our borders since... Oh, hello, so fallen Separatists. We can actually deal with you once this is built up, so give me a second. Hello, mister. Because you're running away. Yeah, exactly. Get your face out of here. What's this kill? An Ajuran, actually. Hmm. Lovely. Permanent navies is now suddenly a thing. I'm pretty sure I've had a navy for quite a while now. Don't know why you've taken so long to achieve the rank of navy existence, but... Hey, everyone learns at different rates. I'm not about to judge. But I'm getting close now to the built-up numbers that we're looking for. I'm gonna build a set next, another 20k just right on top of them. Because hey, why not? If you can, you might as well. Right, cheerio. Now the leader. Thank you. Deal with these guys, and then we'll deal with the guys up top once the second army has been built. Administrative idea is definitely not necessary right now, considering what we're about to do. Which is hopefully going to annex all this for 100%. Which I think is possible to look. So I do get a discount. It is so close. It's annoying as hell. But then again, we haven't actually occupied it yet, so it does cost more. Yeah, that did not have a chance at all. <laughs> bye bye, natives, once again. Yeah, Ajuran. It's gonna be a nu nuisance. Oh well, so be it. Portugal and stuff. Still think they can establish themselves in the Spice Islands. They can establish themselves as well as I can establish a front line against my rebels. You can't. It's like the Vietnam War. You can't really establish a front line. Because they're everywhere. Also, yes, give me more money for more and more piety that I really don't have. Let's keep them here for now. We'll do what we have to do soon enough. British Columbia actually now has a coastline with us. New Parak, though, I don't think is gonna engage them, since, you know, balanced. Actually, they might. Also, I like how they're a republic. New Kamcha, also a republic. Going to kill what? Oh, that's just adorable. Alright, send you here. Send you just right here. Once this has a relatively reasonable garrison, that's about now. Hello, Mr. Colony in Russia. Good to see that you have become self sustaining. Interesting how you're the one down there, though. Oh well. Right, it, right on, boys. <laughs> right on. As to you, you can move down here and start sieging down the capital. Because, hey, why not? Still by a tiny little margin. Oh well. As I said, we'll manage, we'll manage. Surprise you of anything resembling... Ooh, okay. Our heir has died. Or we got a new heir. We got a really terrible marriage. 
Wait, what? Who is our actual heir now? The sort of really terrible guy. Oh my god, that is garbage. No. Go away. Yes, yes, we'll look for a new succession man. We'll figure something out. Oh, that was a very easy siege. Cheers. And I presume natives? Yeah, natives, it's always natives. The one stack over there, see what happens. Just see what happens, guys, honestly. Um, I can get a bit of autonomy, that's fine by me. Should probably start investing in reducing our inflation, but if we're gonna have to pay a premium for it, there's no reason to. Still don't have enough for full, eh? Maybe at some point. We're on low enthusiasm now, as you'd expect, and. Hey, boys, what happened? Suddenly interested? I understand, I understand. We all make mistakes. I can give you a free one-time deal. You surrender to my forces and I will not murder your entire family and so on and so forth. Also there goes Kilwa to Ajuran. Maybe I'll, maybe if Kilwa just like explodes and then becomes Ajuran, that would be hilarious. Please happen. Also, please don't win that siege. Thank you. That should give me enough for a full annexation. No, it's not. Alright. Once that finishes, maybe. Come on, guys. Don't don't make me have to fight them all over again. Please. Give me 100%. 92. Ah, that's close enough. And ah, that's enough. Here we go, boys. I'll take Madagascar now. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Just perfect. And they lost their breach. Perfect. Look at all these cheap cores. Beauty. Beautiful indeed. Also, now it's my fort, so I get the hail bonus. Reduce overextension. I approve of that indeed. Alright, we'll just keep these troops up here for now. Tusuk has become... I don't know where this is. I trust it's somewhere reasonable. Yes, it is somewhere reasonable. It's up in Siberia. Siberia light. Just perfect. Right, um, do we want to do more of this? Or do we... What's the, uh, thing like? They're not really that amazing. That's for sure. And it's all kind of terrible land. The only reason I really wanted it was so that I have a uh, not issue with the Russians. Which I think I've achieved quite well, so we can get rid of that nonsense there, and send them instead. Do we do more of this, or do we try and support our boys overseas? Well, let's actually let's encourage some growth over yonder. Great, Gazinga has become Gazingered? I don't know. Wow, look at all these separatists. Granted, we are at, like, a high... <laughs> just, just, just quote-unquote high overextension level. Yes, quite right. Also, we lost that. Bother. Alright, guess we're gonna pick up some troops. Enjoy our... Attempt. All right, trading in slaves now, even though I should probably get rid of that. Madagascar would be nice to have. Uh, Merchant guilds will lose even more loyalty. You know what? Fine, I'll have to do something for them. Lost the siege of Timisate, which is a nuisance, but I'm sure we can manage. Once they leave, please. Alright, Kilwa is almost definitely going to die. Perfect. I don't actually mind that too much, because once they die, those uh, rebels will become no longer an issue. Also, Paolo has just become, quote-unquote, colonized. Uh, that was where? Yes? No. Here. Right. Let's go for uh, these islands, actually. If I could, please. So 
so I'll just like, I don't know, I can't do it now because I need to use these ships for something else. Once I split them in half, there we go. Now I can, well, not happily, but with reasonable confidence assume that these people will actually arrive where I tell them to go, that is. It'll be hills, but I mean, come on, 20k. 40k, to be honest. Come on, get or oh, 30. 30. It's getting close. My numbers are just slightly off. I'm sure you'll manage with my small and relatively insignificant mistakes. Alright, cheerio, boys. Done and dusted. I'll take the ones with the leader back here. And I'll pull this dude back over yonder. Actually, down here, just in case he does engage. But I do expect him to go for this first. Oh, they enforced demands, but they didn't break away. What? That's kind of annoying. Modano has become self-sustaining. Perfect. Uh, right. Strange. Can I get a... No, enough. Not worth it yet. Actually, I should probably look through this again. You conquer so much land so quickly, I sometimes forget about the fact that they have to be stated. Can we give state? Oh, you can give statehood to a lot of places. Oh, why do we have such terrible heirs? This is a strong claim, I mean, hey. The last one was weak. No one wants a weak claim. No. No. Yes? Sort of? No. Nope. Actually, yeah, comparatively, this one's actually not half bad. Nope. 100% no. Also no. Nope, that'll cost me more than it give me back. Nope. 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 Guys, come on. Gotta do better than that. Jeez, what it cost. None of these are worth it. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What's most of it? Malafe. What the hell is Malafe? What is Malafe? Oh, right, you. You still control that much. Are you serious? Yeah, you are uh, definitely leaving. Sorry, Malafe, but you have uh, definitely overstepped your bounds when you claim 50% of the goddamn trade in Zanzibar. Yeah, I just can't allow that, to be honest. 50%? Jesus. No. Just, just no. And that's with all my land being in trade companies as well. Man, how did you even do that? Alright, pull these guys up north. Actually, we'll pull you into Malafe because they want to die so much. Fine, geez. Also, what's your highest province? Definitely Nibnebe. Cheerio, boys. That will be the end of your nation's existence because you decide to tussle with Malaya. And Malaya does not allow tussling. Not especially not when you think you can actually beat me. Which you can't, by the way. Thought I'd, you know, tell you. So you don't wonder what happened and how the world ended and all that other nonsense that some people think is funny but isn't really. We have assimilation still happening with good speed. Timing, though, however, not the greatest. Until next time, until then, I've messed it up, but you know what I mean.